I give a warm welcome to local comedian Aiden Mungai. Hello, hey. Welcome to hey the man. show, Aiden. How you doing? Pretty good. I hear you've got a set lined up for I us. I do hey? have a set. This is a nice. This is a nice place. Oh, it's beautiful. This is nice. It's beautiful here. Well, let's hope you can keep the audience all warmed up for me. Yeah, I, I, I brought a heater, so you know this should be pretty warm. I'll be over here, fella. All right. Uh, hi, my name is Aiden Mungai. Uh, as you can tell by my name, I'm biracial. <laughs> Uh, my dad is from Africa and my mum is a white Australian, so uh, it's a mix I like to call African liked. Uh, <laughs> diet Africa, if you will. Or, uh, I can't believe it's not Africa! <laughs> During my teenage years, it was uh, Lynx Africa, but you know, that was, was a rougher time, was a bit poorer then. Uh, uh, I've learned a lot of things having parents from two different cultures. Like, uh, for example, I know that uh, because my mum is white, she loves camping. Bloody loves camping. My dad, being from Kenya, which is in Africa, hates camping, does not care for it at all. Uh, I'll try and explain for you why that is. Imagine, if you will, you're in a third world country. Uh, now, a civil war has broken out, and it's not the, you know, the fun Captain America kind. This is the other one. So you grab your loved ones, you grab what little you can carry, and you head for the border, because shit is getting pretty shitty right now. So you get there, the UN's there, they've set up a refugee camp, it's pretty great, you know, you get in there like, cool. All right, I'll just, I'll take my family here. It'll just be for a little while. The war will blow over. Everything will be fine. <laughs> so you, you gather all, you're like, all right, we'll just, we'll sit in this little tent here. I guess we'll just wait until the amnesty papers sort themselves out and things will turn out okay. <laughs> so two to 500 years later, when your great, 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 great grandsons are finally like, okay, cool. We finally get to go to a first world country. They get to come to Australia. Oh, and it's bloody great. Got electricity, we've got four walls, you got a roof, it's wonderful. Now explain to me this, why at that point would you choose to go back to a fucking tent for leisure? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Only people who have everything would think that having nothing for a weekend is a fun little getaway. <laughs> it makes no sense. You know, there's no camping in Africa. It's just called living there. <laughs> if you went to Africa, and you, you know, you've got your little sleeping bag and your bag of marshmallows, you went down to a national park, and you would present yourself as a human burrito for lions, cheetahs, and hyenas to snatch up. <laughs> I could never run away from a situation like that. I'm way too lazy. I'm a very lazy man. I know this because at the ripe young age of 23, I've started making, I've started making old man noises. <laughs> now, it happens mostly when I stand up, uh, so I'll just be sitting down. And I think things are going great. It's all right. I'm sitting down. I'm relaxing. But then someone will ask me to stand up, and it just, it all pours out. It's just, hey, Aiden, stand up. Okay. <laughs> oh, millennials have ruined the housing market. Oh. <laughs> My name's Benane Mungo. You guys have been great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on the show, fella. Let's hear it for Aiden. We'll be right back after these short messages.